Hello everybody and welcome back to another brand new Minecraft Let's Play video and yes I'm standing on top of a chest, I'm a cat now. Meow. Oh dear. And as I'm recording this it is Halloween and what have I got planned? Literally not much. And just in Halloween spirit we've got a spider here who I've just gruesomely tortured and murdered. But yeah, how was your, let's ask the question, of how was your Halloween, because this video is coming out afterwards, after Halloween, so if I ask how is your Halloween, it'll be a bit out of time, so, yeah, but anyway, back to business, because we have got a hell of a lot to build today, and by a hell of a lot I mean pretty much nothing really like I've got to get some build my coconut farm the coconut farm Pum uh, pumpkin farm where on earth did I get the word coconut from bloomin hell so what I need to do is just dig out some of this oh dear just need to get because some I've literally just dug this out yeah that's that's how prepared I am I dug it out like five minutes ago I think what I need to do is just build like a little guideline as such and then do that and then that yeah it works but to be honest, I could do less water sources yeah let's do that let's rearrange this I I have built this before not gonna lie I have actually built this but it's been so long I that. You know what? I'm just gonna. I'll be right back. Okay. I've got it. I put. <laughs> I had to have two blocks here because I forgot that it's pumpkin. My own pumpkin farms here. And I need blocks to, for the pumpkins to grow on. I know. I'm so intelligent, aren't I? I'm such an intelligent human. Indeed, and how did I think that was going to work? Of course, that wasn't going to work. But this is let's focus on let's focus on the fact that you know we've we've got the right way of doing things now, and this may take a while. Uh, this is probably the most time-consuming bit of the entire farm, as you place in the actual dirt itself. I want you to get past this bit. It's so easy. Like. That's how easy it is. Just plonk that down. Plonk this down. I will have to do like more lighting. But I'll do that after I've done everything else because yeah, it's one of them things that will take a while to do. Because I've got them lined up. I need to actually take screenshots and cut the video and stuff like that. and Just get coordinates of where I have to place the lights. I know I'm I'm precise. I, I plan it right down to the smallest details. As you can tell from this video, you no, know, I just didn't have any material preparation. I just start building. But this is what we're gonna start off with, just gotta dig out all this. And you know what I'm gonna I'll dig all this out and I'll place it all in, get everything like coordinates and that marked and be back when I've done that just to say about 20 minutes of recording time okay so I've actually marked out and figured out where the lights go so I'm just gonna mark that out quickly just because why not and I will need to get lily pads for these ones so I'll do that in my spare time as well as build the melon farm and I've probably mentioned now that I have actually done the potato and beetroot farms and how on earth did this guy get up here? I'm just going to uh... And no one saw that and it was... He was invading my land so I... Rescued my land. It was stranded. It couldn't have done anything if it tried so... I'm a saviour? 
in terms of excuses, I'd say that's a pretty good excuse. Let's make some more torches. There we go, we're sorted now. We've got like over a stack of torches. We're all good in that field. Um, what else do I need? Iron nuggets would be a good one. So we need to make eight of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But what I might do is make 16, just because I need some anyway for the other farm. So if I just make a whole bunch of these, there we go, that'd be enough for a few. There we go, so now I've got enough for like the melon farm as well, just thought I might as well do them. It makes it so much easier. And I've got enough slabs to last me quite a while and I might as well hang around till night time because by the time I got over there it'll be time to sleep by the time I go there and back. There we go, I told you. I'd have to go there, then come back to sleep. So yeah, that's just saves so much time. Hey, let's get my let's get this ready. Like my back is actually really hurting today. Like yes, I've done a little bit of lifting stuff yesterday, but it wasn't enough carrying stuff to cause me to have a bad back. Unless I've done it myself, which I didn't, so. Because there's no way I could have managed it myself. Definitely not. Well, the carry knights do. It's just like moving cabinets and that at home. I mean, it's easy enough. The hardest bit was probably just actually moving the cabinet off. But it's like two halves. So it's like the top half and bottom bit. It's the top bit, bottom bit. The top bit's the heavy bit. That's the hardest bit because you have to take the weight of it before you can actually like what's the word? Put well you have to move the bottom, but you have to move the top bit off. So otherwise, this is not movable. So I've done that, and we actually picked it up as well, put it back up there, which was which I was surprised about. I didn't think I had the strength to. So I was like, oh, it was it was a it was a perfect moment for me. And actually, I've I've done all of the dirt as well. It actually took me about three minutes, if that. And that's three minutes, including getting all the stuff for this as well, because it's all over in that chest over there. I so said that was it wasn't too bad. And I need lanterns. I've literally got these for light reasons. They're not aesthetic. They're not for looks in the slightest. Like in time, as I said with my other farms, I'm going to sort of put glass over them, put these in the ground. So in time, I'll have like a skylight, if you were, during the day. And obviously at night, we'll just be. I'll figure out something for that. I don't know, but it'll probably be like. It'll be smaller than this. It'll be like modules. So it'll be easier to light up. And what do I need now? Water. That should be a good one. I need a second bucket because I don't actually have one. And I might do the water off camera just because it will take absolutely flipping ages. And whilst I'm here, I'm just going to turn what I have turned into what well, I know back into ingots and make another bucket because why not fill them both up and I'll, I'll be back when I've done the water because it will just take forever okay so this water's actually not taking that long like let's just say I'm, I've done the first two already I think it's because my initial thoughts have to keep running back and forth backwards and forwards but then I forgot that I could just create infinite water sources like this and just yeah like, see how quickly I've just done that one and I messed it up a few times so just keep doing this and we're nearly done we're like halfway through already we're absolutely blazing this through and there we go so now we're ready to till the ground and luckily this bit is like super easy because I don't need to till it as much as that meaning I won't go through as many hoes now 
that this one will last me at least all this farm and most of the melon farm. But after that, I don't think I need another. Don't think I need tilth ground anymore. After that, I don't think. That's literally all I need it for. And I have got a bunch of like pumpkins. I won't have enough pumpkin seeds to fill all this in. But it's progress, you know. If I can get half of it done, then obviously in time, once I get 16 pumpkins, I'll be able to double it. And it's nice I've only got a no, till a little bit compared to all of it. Just saves so much time and hassle. Well, I've already tilled all this already. That's just that's how good we are. We are totally professionals. Like ignore what everybody says. We are absolute professionals and I don't know what anyone's on about. And please say I've got enough of this. There we go. Whew. And now I need to get the pumpkins. Oh dear. Please, I didn't put them back in the house. I don't want to go all the way to the house just to get blue and pumpkins. I'm pretty sure I did put them in here. Ah, there we are. Hiding on seeds anyway. Um, oh yeah, we got plenty. There should definitely be enough to fill over half. 100%. But yeah, I've got, I've got a lot of pumpkins going on. And this farm project is going well. And my next project after I've done this farm, I'm going to basically do the melon farm. And then I might build the bamboo farm. Well, I'm going to build the sugarcane and cactus farms. And then I'm going to go out and hunt for some bamboo. Just like one bit of bamboo and then grow it. And then obviously I can use that to then fuel that farm. And whilst I'm doing all that, I'm going to start building the storage room. I'm, and I'm then getting all resources for that. So I feel like now that I've got this sort of underway, I need someone to actually put the stuff. Because right now, I don't have anywhere to put the stuff resources I get. Which is why I don't want to build the kelp farm until I've got the storage room. But I'm building the kelp farm last because one, that is the most resource intensive project I have by far. Because it uses a lot of hoppers, it's going to use a lot of hoppers. A lot of furnaces and a lot of wood for chests and just like that we've now got no pumpkins seeds left Watch well, this will take a while to grow so in the meantime I'll just I'll do what I can with the fences up with the bricks I've got I still need to go out and get some more but I've just been so busy this week just haven't had the opportunity to like go out and get more well, I've got like, a few bits of clay here and there but what I've got, like resource wise, won't do me past where I am now. So I need a hell of a lot for the, the new farm, or the farms up there. I need a hell of a lot for that storage room. And you know, whilst I'm here, I might chuck these ones on here as well. And they're just to, they're just there really to mark where the the fence gate goes for the cactus farms and the sugarcane farms and this one does only have one fence gate which isn't too bad because it means we just save so much wood and there we go we just do that check that on like that if I need to I can chuck something in there in the future and yeah this is the pumpkin farm pretty much done like I will get I might like temporarily destroy this block just to get a single dirt block so I can do that because means this that can then grow into that which then grow into this which will then help to grow this bit into grass just to make it look that little bit nicer see we're all, we're all about the aesthetics here and I'll probably forget about that if I'm honest like I will probably forget about that little bit of grass there but we'll try not to 
I will try do this and this. Yeah, I need to I need to figure this one out. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, perhaps. Aha! There we go. We have figured it out. Need to go one more across, and just like that, we've done it. It's incredibly off, but you know. We're not bothered about that, and this video has gone on for at least 15 minutes. So, I'm going to place this fence gate down and then I'll end the video just because it's gone on a bit too long. And oh, we need literally everything we need more fence gates, pen, no, we need more sticks, and we need more wood. There we go, just, just make enough for the other farm as well, the melon farm, and I'll probably build that either right after this recording just so I've got it actually no because I've I literally got one me melon seed so I'm currently growing them over there just so I can get some more and there we go we're now done I'm just going to chuck this in here just to speed it up and I'm going to end this video here I hope you enjoyed this video if you did Leave a big thumbs up and I'll see you all next time. See ya!